Jessica here the Furry Family Coach and in this video we're talking about how to make our dog beds last longer. So stick with me, I have a bunch of amazing tips and tricks for you guys and let me tell you, first of all, Kim, uh, we adopted Kim about four years ago, a little over four years ago and you probably would not believe me but I bought this bed when we adopted her four years ago and look at it, it looks brand spanking new. So I have a lot of tips and tricks that I'm going to give you guys today to help you keep your dog beds in amazing condition because you know this this dog bed is from West Paw. Most of our dog beds in the house are from West Paw and you know a lot of times we spend good money for a nice dog bed and we don't want to be replacing them constantly because they don't last very long for, and, and that actually is the first tip that i want to give you guys don't buy cheap beds because when you buy cheap beds they're made to use for a very short period of time and toss and first of all that's not very eco-friendly like right we don't want to buy things that we use a few times and toss we want to buy things that are going to last a really long time we want to buy good quality items and the same holds true for your dog or cat bed and these actually i have some of these for my cats as well the same design they love it kim loves it this is actually i have you don't laugh but seriously guys i have like 10 or 12 beds just in the house alone for Kim. And it doesn't even include all of the beds I have in our cat room for our cats. And the cats have two of these. Kim has two of these. They're probably this particular design from West Paul. I will link it in the description below. This, this one bed we have had for four years and it still looks and feels amazing. It doesn't smell bad. I have, I mean, literally I'm it does not smell bad. And so that's the first tip I want to give you guys. When you buy a new bed, it's the best time to go ahead and splurge. Get something really nice that is high quality that is going to last you a really long time. And when you're looking at beds to buy, make sure it's going to be easy to launder. And I don't launder them too often. This is not something that I'm going to throw in the wash every couple of weeks. It does have a zipper in it so you can pull the bolsters out and just wash the frame, but that's not the best thing to do on a consistent basis to make these last forever. So I am going to tell you what to do. You do want to launder them, just not super frequently. So what we're going to actually do, and here's my second tip, is to have multiple beds, right? So if you only have one bed for your dog or cat, then that's the only one that gets used and it is going to get worn out a lot quicker. So have multiple beds and you know, your dog or cat likes having <laughs> these options anyway. So give them these options and I'm going to readjust. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you, Snoopy. So Kim was just laying in this bed. So I readjusted, but the camera, but um, they, they like to have options and they may not want to sleep in the same spot all the time. Okay. So do have multiple options of beds for your dog or cat to choose. So having multiple options is going to mean less wear and tear on any one particular bed. So the next thing I want to talk about is, um, when you do put your bed down for your pet, cover it with a throw or a blanket or some sort of sheet. And I do this with 100% of the beds in our house. So this is a, now you can either have really cute blankets that match your decor. So everything stays the same like color palette in your house. And that's a really great option if you are super um, into your home design. And it, it's also going to help you when picking out a bed. So you're not looking at every single bed going, oh, that's not gonna match my house. Pick a blanket or a throw or a sheet that is going to match your home decor and put that over your bed. This is going to serve you and your dog in two ways. So it's going to help protect the fabric of the bed like you're seeing here. So any dirt or um, grossness that your pet may be bringing in to the house is not going to get on the fabric of the bed. It's going to get on the blanket or the throw or the sheet that you have on top of the bed. And what's really awesome about that is that you can wash blankets or sheets 
frequently and they're not going to wear out as quickly and you can change them out very inexpensively. So, you know, where you might buy a throw at Marshall's for 10 bucks, you are spending a lot more on the bed. So it's a lot easier to wash the blanket or the throw that you put on top of your bed every week and replace it more frequently than you would the actual bed. But also, and you have probably noticed this, especially with your dogs, but your cats are gonna need, cats love to need, right? Especially when they're really super comfortable. So if they are in bed and they're going to sleep, they're gonna be kneading. And if they're kneading directly on the fabric of the bed, it's going to tear and wear out the fabric. But if they're kneading on the blanket or the throw that you've put on top, then that's what they're kneading into. So it's not going to affect the actual fabric of the bed. Your dogs, you and I, I absolutely love this. Kim does this multiple times a day and She's, dogs do this just trying to get comfortable. It's it's something that is kind of ingrained from them from being outside. If, if your dog is outside and they're maybe hot or cold, they dig into the ground to find a nice cool patch of dirt. So they're kind of in, instinctively doing the same type of thing when they're getting in bed and you see them like scratching and pawing at whatever is in the bed and you're like, what are you scratching at? You're like, you're not digging up anything, but that's what they're doing. They're just, they're laying out some energy and they have that kind of natural instinct to dig to find a really nice spot and make a really comfy spot for them. So when, if you just give them the bed and they're digging in it, it's gonna wear out the fabric quicker. But if you have a, a blanket or a throw on top of it, then they're gonna be able to dig in that. And it's actually gonna give them more satisfaction because they'll be able to pull at the blanket or the throw and they feel like they've accomplished something. So they have that sense of accomplishment that they've actually made changes to their environment in, in the way that they had intended to and they have created their bedding just the way they wanted. So you're getting a lot more bang for your buck by putting a blanket or a throw or a sheet or something on top of your dog or cat bed. The next tip I want to give you is to vacuum your dog beds regularly. So instead of constantly throwing them in the washing machine, actually take your vacuum and vacuum off any pet hair, dander. That's going to help the fabric last longer as well. Every once in a while, maybe once or twice a year, I will actually take some baking soda and put baking soda on the dog beds or the cat beds and uh, let it sit for just a little bit and vacuum it up. I don't do this every week because the baking soda can break down the fabric, the fibers in the fabric. So I don't wanna do it too terribly often, but when I do do that, it makes a huge difference and helps get out any smells that have um, been in the fabric that I wanna get out. The baking soda helps a lot. Another thing I do in between is use either a essential oil water mist, which I have a few options here that I'm gonna show you, or this DIY fabric and room refresher. So I will put a link in the description below. I did this video, a video on the DIY fabric and room refresher. What I'm using here in all of these, whether it's the essential oil water mist which this one is a column mile water mist, and this one is an evict water mist. In the fabric and room refresher, this particular one, I happen to use lavender essential oils, but the key here is to use veterinary grade essential oils. So I brought out some options here for you, and just to show you some of my favorites to use. These are gonna be beneficial in making your fabrics smell better, in, in pulling out any nasty odors that may be in your fabrics, but also because they're veterinary grade essential oils, I only use Animalio, which again are veterinary grade essential oils. They are going to provide benefits to your pets by inhaling in these essential oils. So the first one I'm gonna show you is Evict, and I have an Evict water mist right here. So I just have um, distilled water that I have added some drops of Evict to, which is, um, from Animalio, and it is a blend of essential oils of cedarwood, catnip, eucalyptus, geranium, rosemary, and oregano. It smells amazing. It reminds me of camping in the summer out in the woods, and it really helps to get out odors. Um, it's designed specifically for 
um, bugs <laughs> and keeping bugs away, but I absolutely love the smell. So I think it also helps with getting out odors. So you can spray with a water mist of an essential oil that you and your dog absolutely love as long as it is a veterinary grade essential oil. I also love Citrus Clean. This one is a um, natural disinfectant. I also love Sunshine in a Bottle. This one is probably my favorite of all. This one is, it just, it smells like the sun and I absolutely love it. Um, so you can also use a chamomile. So if this is something that uh, your dog may, or cat may be needing some help in calming down, or maybe you are um, trying to help your pet with anxiety, chamomile is gonna be a really great option for you. We can just take distilled water, add some essential oil to it, rock it back and forth, and you have an amazing spray that is going to help refresh your fabrics and provide essential oil um, powers to your pet. So, uh, and then I also have the lavender. All of these, again, are from Animalio because they are all veterinary grade, which I highly recommend you trying out with your pet. And yeah, so those are my tips for making your dog beds or cat beds last longer. If you have any additional tips, please do leave them in the comments below. I, like I said, I, I think my tips are pretty, pretty darn amazing because like this bed right here is four years old. How would you ever even know that? You wouldn't believe me unless I told you. And it's the truth. It's the honest to goodness truth. So guys, first of all, I want to say wash your beds, wash your dog beds. But these are some tips and tricks, tricks to help make them last longer. So again, yeah, if you have any other tips or tricks to help make your dog or cat beds last longer, please leave them in the comments below. I'd love to try them out. And if you have any questions about your dog or your cat, please leave them in the comments below. Maybe I will make my next video to answer your question. And guys, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. You have to hit that subscribe button, become part of Pet Parent Nation and subscribe. Once you hit the subscribe button, click the little bell icon that will pop up next to it, select all notifications. That way YouTube can notify you every time I post a new video. I loved doing this video for you guys. If you like it, make sure to give me a thumbs up and post in the comments below and let me know that you liked it. That way I can provide more content like this to you guys. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Thank you so much for being here and watching and I will see you, pet parent, in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.